You ain't got to take it off, but and I might zip her up. That's well, cool. It's not that cold in my room. Stop it. Yes, it is. This is sick weather. It was just 72 degrees on Saturday. Now it's back down to 50 something. This is sick weather. Yeah, for people doing who do not not know how to dress. For right. that kind of weather. But well, on Saturday, I had on sweatpants and a, a light sweatshirt because mm -hmm. I'm like, no, because I'm not going to get sick. Yeah. And I saw um, people out there with shorts and t-shirts oh, yeah. and white feet. I didn't, wear no, I didn't wear no jacket when I went out <coughs> at night um, over this weekend. But I did wear this sweater, and I was hot in the club. Like, it was like, oh, my God, I shouldn't even wear this. I thought I was doing something about putting something on, but yeah, it was a mess. But um, what you wear to the club? This, this whole outfit. This whole fucking <laughs> Bitch, I'm not saying I'm wearing it for the video. They don't know. No, you did not. Know. Wait, yes. you did not wear this sweatsuit too. Yes, I sure did. It was all black. I just wanted to get out the house. I didn't have time for all that. So I wore all black. And, and but it, it ain't even. It's a, <laughs> it's a sweatsuit that your mom or your grandma would wear on like a Saturday afternoon yes. to clean the house or to walk, to go shopping. So it was like covering me up. It's not out. even a sweatsuit that you would. It's not even a. It's just a sweatsuit. Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> I said, I'll be out. I'm coming out. I mean, you just do on anything. I told you, I said, let me find something to wear and I'll be out there. Let me find something to wear mm -hmm. means find something appropriate to wear to the club. No, I just put this This on. is appropriate to wear to clean the house. Yeah. Either way. <laughs> Either way, I went out. I love it. And I had me a great time. And let me tell you something. In the dark, can't nobody tell, right? Because mm -mm. <coughs> the club is dark, right? Can't tell nothing, no. It wasn't? What? The club was dark. Yeah, the club yeah, is cool. always dark. <laughs> They don't know not, what you got on. Not that, that it matters, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Yeah, but I just I just we don't do nothing in the dark. Oh, it's some stuff that goes on. Mm -hmm. But what's going on, on YouTube? YouTube? And, uh... Oh yeah, I got that already. Oh, you, oh, okay. Yeah, because <laughs> well, I wasn't gonna talk. Part. Okay, I wasn't yeah. talking about just that situation. Okay, okay, I'll add it, I'll add it. Cause I you know I was happy they was there. <laughs> if y'all wanna know what the hell we talking about. So, what's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Mikkel. We are back with another video. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I hope you guys are enjoying your start to April. I know I am because we are recording early today. Happy April Fool's Day. Hope nobody got shot with a sick joke or a sick prank today. And you know, as I get older, I don't really care about April Fool's Day. I ain't even think of nothing crazy to come at y'all with because y'all all would know it's April Fool's joke. So, um... Something that's not April Fool's we're going to start with. And if you're watching us for the first time, please subscribe to our channel and please share our video to Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, or wherever you choose to share our videos. Um, last night, I was watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta and um, one of my nephews came through the door and told us uh, what happened. <coughs> and as soon as I looked at Twitter... Of course, I see Nipsey's name trending because, you know, people, I think sometimes people be playing around, but he was serious, and he said that Nipsey Hussle was shot and killed. Now, I'm going to be honest. I heard of him, but I really don't know his music mm -hmm. like that. I never listened to his music, but, you know, that's, that's tragic what happened to him being mm -hmm. shot multiple times in front of a business that he owned. His child was in the store. Other people around, um, two other people, um, they were said to be shot as well, but his death was fatal. That's and why I think that that wasn't him in that stretcher. Because uh, I'm telling you, Nipsey Hussle was about as big as Jeremy. And that guy, when you look at the arms, his arms was big. That's well, why I think it may have been another person on that stretcher. I'm not sure why they would. I don't. I'm not sure why they would use that footage and say that's him or. And the well, they didn't necessarily not. say that was him though. They just said that he was rushed out and paramedics yeah. and CPR. But they didn't say that that was him. Well, I, you know, I thought it was him, but yeah. I'm just like. See, because I know what Nipsey Hussle looks like, and I know what he's built like, and he's built like a fucking. He's built like this, and that guy was a little meteor, and I'm like, there's no way that's him. Well, I listen. I don't know. You know. I just know that, you know, the man died and, you know, that it's just horrible. And then, like, as you look at news reports and you see, you know, you hear the output, you see the outpouring of love from the community. Like I see that he was doing a lot for his community and that he was helping people, mm. um, you know, like with clothes, bag, like book bags. He was doing all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. for his community. He really was a community man and that he cared about his community. And he also was nominated for an um, Grammy this year, 
Um, I did, I did, I did see that part on when I watched the Grammys this year. But he's just, he's just been doing a lot. And I also heard that you know he was a part of a gang, and I don't know, y'all know I don't know none of that stuff, and I don't want to get into that stuff. But you know when death comes, you know there also comes a lot of people with their conspiracy theories. And I seen a clip that. Um, he was talking to Charlemagne that he was doing a documentary on Dr. CB. Um, I first <coughs> heard about Dr. CB when, when, it, um, when we found out he was helping out um, Left Eye. Mm -hmm. Now I don't even like I don't even remember like what surrounded the death of Left Eye. All I know is that she was going to Honduras for a spiritual a spiritual retreat. But, you know, a lot of people have their claims like Left Eye got killed because she was bringing his name to light. And now the same thing happened with Nipsey Hussle because Nipsey Hussle was on um, The Breakfast Club. And he was explaining that he was um, working on a documentary to tell, you know, tell his story. And people think that, oh, you know, the government has something to do with this. Um, the government killed him because he was working on this documentary. We really don't know what it was. It could be uh, gang violence. It could be somebody that was just jealous and killed him. It could be anything. But what I can't do is just sit here and talk about a bunch of conspiracies. What happened is tragic. A, f um, a girlfriend lost her boyfriend. Children lost their father, stepfather, brother, cousin, uncle. All of those things. A community leader was killed and he was also supposed to meet up today with people in his hometown to uh, come up with a solution to curb violence in the community. So he was like really doing things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just can't, I just like, I've seen people tweeting me stuff and like leaving in my comments, are you going to talk about what really happened? Like, I don't know what really happened because mm -hmm. I wasn't really there. wasn't there. <laughs> okay? Right. But all I know is that someone lost their life and mm -hmm. it's tragic. And it's not even just... There is also in like it happens all the time on this violence and it's just crazy and I just think about like I try to think like do the killer really think that this is actually worth it because once you eventually get caught you go to jail you 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 might spend a long time in prison or life in prison and is it worth giving up? Um, if you have children, not not seeing your children grow up, mm -hmm. being with important family members, being with your wife, or you know having to have a relationship with your hand for ha however many years, like is it really worth <coughs> all of that? And I seen a post that was like, you should spend like spend twenty four hours in the bathroom and see if it's really worth it. Like it's like you're really confined. Somebody got to tell you when to get up, when to lay down, when you can piss, when you can shit. It's not that jail life is not for me. And I don't see why so many people glorify that and think that it's such a great thing. Like I think murderers or people that want to murder, they should really think about those things. And you're taking someone's life away. You're you you're not even you're not only killing that person, but you're killing that person that lives inside of that person that knows them. The family members that knows them. It's just so much. And I don't want to get too deep talking about this, but like I really thought about that because there was a lot of murders that happened over the weekend here in Philly. Or just dumb shit. Like someone being attacked and they take his fucking clothes off and he's laying there on the street and somebody is recording this instead of helping this person. And then I was asking Mikel, like, well, where was his friends? There's no way I would let my friend get beat up on camera. I'm going to have to get beat up, too. They're going to have to take my clothes off, too. Oh, God. Okay? Oh, God. I, I just... Oh, my God. Like, come on. Like, it's just dumb shit. People getting killed at parks. People going to parties getting shot Have at. you ever had a relationship with Cam? No. <laughs> but it's out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but I don't want that kind of thing, like, mm -hmm. where I can't just go and do what I want when I want to. Like, that's horrible. I, well, I could never. You'd probably be able to, if you go to all men's prison, you'd probably be able to find somebody else. But then, then, you, then you're going to have to want protection because people are going to be chasing you and you become somebody's bitch. Like, I don't have you know what I'm saying? If you get a boyfriend and you start a I'm not doing that. I'm not, first of all, I'm not even going to talk like that because I'm not going to jail. I don't have no plans for it, okay? I love my freedom. And I ain't gonna let I ain't gonna never be that stupid to let anything take me away from my. No, freedom. I'm not saying you're doing anything stupid because you. I know you wouldn't do anything stupid. <coughs> Excuse me. But well, just say one day you get super drunk and you don't know what you're doing, 
and then you do something, then you have to go to jail for like no. a few months. No, I, now let me tell you, there's been times where I get Because I know somebody up, who gets in relationships every time he like goes that. to jail. Mm-mm. I'm never going to jail. Mm-mm. If you ever went, would you start a relationship with somebody? No, and I'm not going to jail. Let me just, let me just put, that, <laughs> put that out there. I'm never going to jail. Right. So there's no I'm not that, I don't have a record, I don't have nothing. Okay? So you won't be seeing me in jail. So no relationship. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just unfortunate what happened to Lipsy. Yeah. And there's going to be more information right. that comes out and more people with their conspiracy theories. But I'm just going to say, think with an open mind before you tweet and post. Yes, 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 yes. Because I'm seeing a lot of people post dumb shit. <laughs> you know what's so interesting is because, again, <clears throat> yeah, wait, somebody going to say, yeah, Mikel blocked me. <laughs> I'm not going to beat Mikel up because he blocked you. Yeah. Did, they, did I block them because of the Nipsey Hussle? Yeah. Yep. Because there were people on my page today, and I had posted something. Now, I don't know who, because it was a few people I blocked. I had posted something earlier today. And again, I don't know why they come to you, because you don't run my page. Mm-hmm. Or my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know why they come to you. But anyway, <laughs> I had posted something about regarding the fact that people jump into conclusions and whatever the case may be, or people knowing... Who killed Nipsey Hussle, but then don't nobody know who killed the person in the corner of the box. Yeah. And then people were coming on my page, oh no, y'all, some people, oh y'all just stupid, y'all need to wake up, or there was a few people saying, oh no, but the truth is out there, we all know, and I'm like, first of all, this is not that post, mm-hmm. <laughs> and this is not that page, so block. Because what you won't do is come on my page and call the people in the comments stupid, mm-hmm. or me stupid, Yeah. because that's what they were doing. Not only are you disrespecting and insulting the people in the comments, mm-hmm. but you're disrespecting and insulting yeah. me. Mm-hmm. So instead of me going back and forth, that's why their feelings was hurt, because I didn't even mention them. I just blocked them. Yeah. So they probably was like, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then they ran to you. Yeah, I don't know why, but... I don't know why either. Because you've never ran my life. Have you? <clears throat> no. Or my page. No. No. I mean, no. You know, um, Dennis, um, let me tell you something about blocking. <laughs> So, I had went out two weeks ago, okay. and Dennis told me about this lady. Wait, can I say something real quick about the Nipsey Hussle thing? Sure. I just think, oh. yeah, don't forget what Dennis said, because I'm going to hear the story. And wipe that mustard off your lip. Mm. So, <laughs> listen, what they call it a mukbang. <laughs> so, I'm a... Um, a what? I'm going to eat on camera. Go ahead. Okay. I need my neck, because that's what I was looking for. Yeah. Who in the bathroom? Pass me some toilet paper. <laughs> that ain't <my> neck. <laughs> what is it? Oh, it's the wrapper to the toilet yeah. paper. <laughs> it's not like it's one two. <laughs> Wait, can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Why is the wrapper to the toilet paper in your room? <laughs> because that's what it is. <laughs> Why is it not in the trash can? But anyway, back to what I was going to say. You know how I go, you got to go. I put the roll of toilet paper in my room. Good, but where's the toilet paper? That's the wrapper. It's in the bathroom. <laughs> I have to go, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what I was saying. Well, yeah, I just, yeah, I feel the same way you feel. Like, you know. It's okay to have your ideas, but to just simply put out there that you we know who killed him, and it's like, but come on, I just, I don't know. I don't even want to get into that because I feel like the man's not even in the ground. Yeah. He's not even in the ground, and we already out here yelling who killed him. Yeah. They you know, know who killed him, but they don't know who killed Big and Tupac yet. Yeah. Right. But go ahead. Go what you say like, about Dennis. Now hold on. It's 2019. Mm-hmm. There gotta be cameras every goddamn way, okay? Mm-hmm. Whoever did this, this definitely was planned. You did this in broad daylight, so you right. definitely ain't giving no fucks. Right. Um, he <coughs> or she will be caught. Now, with Dennis about the blocking situation, mm-hmm. he asked me to unblock somebody. Whether I remember or not, why I blocked right. somebody, you it are not for a reason. Listen, that's right. So that's all right. this and that, how you feel like arguing with Dennis? But the, but you know what? And not, I'm not talking about Dennis, yeah. but I'm just saying in general. Don't not ever mm-hmm. come and ask me to unblock somebody. Yeah. Don't ask me to do that. Well, because then I might turn around and block you. Well, this happened. So I unblocked this person. And Dennis, you don't know her well enough to come and ask yeah. me, your so friend, to unblock. Nice yeah, I don't give a fuck. You don't know her well enough to ask Why me. Why am I going to finish this Wait, But you don't know her well enough <laughs> to ask me, your friend, yeah. to unblock a total stranger. Mm-hmm. I'm your friend. Mm-hmm. And if my friend blocks somebody, they block you for a damn good reason. Yeah. So, and how dare you come and ask me to block, unblock them? So, before I unblocked her, I screen capped it. Oh, so you did unblock her? I unblocked her. 
Well, then why I have to listen? See, I'm sitting You're not listening. Oh. <laughs> I unblocked her because I didn't want to argue with Dennis. Like, you, first of all, you know, if I'm drinking, don't come at me with no dumb shit. Dumb shit, right. Yeah. Because then it's going to irritate me. So, I'm in order to... And I had this no, argument. You I screenshot it. I unblocked her. Mm -hmm. So then I went back to the name because I screenshot it because I want to know who she was. Right. And I reblocked her. Because you re realized why you blocked her originally. Yeah. Okay. I don't know why I blocked her. Oh, so why did you block her again? I don't know. Because I oh, was, so you unblocked her to shut him up. Yes. But then you went back to block her again. Yes. Oh, okay. If I blocked you, I blocked That's you right. on that social media stream. <laughs> right. Now, if you come to me on Twitter and if you say something <laughs> that I ain't like, then I might block you. You know, I told this guy one day. I blocked him. I can't remember what I blocked him on. Mm -hmm. But he must have been following me on all networks. Mm -hmm. So when I blocked him on one, he came to me and said, so I said, you know, you're such a silly rabbit. Mm. If I was you, I would have never... Once you realize I blocked you on one outlet, I would have never made myself known on the other ones. So you blocked him <laughs> so, <out>. Did I? Mm. <laughs> Simply wow. because you made yourself known on this one. Yeah. Talking shit again. Mm -hmm. And people do it all the time. <laughs> they they follow you. <laughs> yes. They talk shit. You get blocked. And like, then there be people that you've never even seen. Like everybody who was talking shit today under my Nipsey Russell post, I've never seen them ever Nipsey under Russell. in comments. Mm -hmm. And you know my page is private. So that means that you've been following me for a very long time. Yeah. And then I post something again that you don't like. Mm -hmm. and, and then, then, you, then you try to find everything in the world to right. say about me that you didn't like. Right. And you put it in my post. You know I just blocked you. Because somebody said something about, um, somebody said something about Deontay. And I'm just like, <laughs> right. you know what? This do not even make sense. That's right. Bye. Yeah. And, but I, I don't even got time to go back and forth. You can say, oh, you live at home with your mom. So what? <laughs> but why would they say that? So what? Oh, but well, you don't have an opinion because this and that. <laughs> so the fuck what? Those are things they've been waiting to say. Do it all the time. Mm -hmm. Fake love. Mm -hmm. And I get leery of those people that follow me. Who have <coughs> no posts, but they mm -hmm. follow 400 people. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm like, should I block them or should I block my page? I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But at this point, as long as they don't come to my door with the bullshit, mm -hmm. it's fine. You're right. So speaking of the weekend, um, other stuff that happened was the 50th anniversary of <coughs> the NAACP Image Awards. And I watched some of them. And, you know... I must say, I was kind of like irritated with them keep th showing the throwback stuff of all the old stuff. Like, do one big special right. and just do the award show for the 50th anniversary. So, I didn't watch when Beyonce came, but somebody, Beyonce and Jay-Z came. But, they, you know, they had it on Twitter and stuff like that. <coughs> and, you know, everybody was showing Beyonce and Jay-Z love. And I was just happy about that. Because this is what I say, this is why you should go where you are celebrated and stuff like that. Like I say, always come to NAACP Awards and come to the Soul Train Awards. Like these are the shows that all <coughs> people went mm -hmm. to back in the day. Mm -hmm. And now it's just like y'all get nominated for stuff and y'all don't even show up to accept the mm -hmm. awards. And it was nice that they both yes. came. And, yeah. Yeah, and I seen that Jay-Z was getting an award, so I figured, okay, they're going to be there. But whether they're getting an, an award or not. Their presence should mm -hmm. be that we stand with the NAACP right. and we're going to be here. Especially at a time where there's so much going right. on with our people. Right. Like you would think that is 1960s again, 1950s and 60s. Even though they started back in what, 1900s? Who? The um, NAACP? They started like 1909. Yeah. It's a long time. 07 or 09. No, yeah. Kojic 07. Then there was ACP 09. Mm -hmm. Don't ask me how I know about the Kojic starting in 07, 1907. <laughs> and I'm Baptist. Yeah. But anyway, yes. <laughs> yeah, so you know Anthony Anderson hosted the show. It was it was it was alright for what it was from what I watched. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now, it was. yeah. I didn't see um Jay Z get his award. Everything I saw, I, I know I DVR did, but he got his award. I don't know, I got like the tail end of it, but I was just happy. And then you know you got the people that say, Oh, they're only there because he's getting the award. At this point I don't give a fuck. Because he's there's some there. people who are getting awards and don't yeah. show up. Yeah, and, and, and some people, like, I don't think the Empire cast, I know that Taraji wasn't there, she won, um, Jesse did not show up, and they weren't allowed to have any Jesse jokes, but Chris Rock, <laughs> of all people, told a joke, even though it was funny. It was very funny. Yes, <laughs> like, bitch, though. But you know what? It was funny, but it needed to be said. Yeah. Because too many people in Hollywood, they laughing, so they yeah, because too many people in Hollywood were coming to his defense, mm -hmm. and then once we started realizing what really went down, 
then everybody started to be moms the word. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. leave it to Chris Rock to say, no, motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Y'all was out here defending him. Now, we're going to throw this shit back in his face. Mm -hmm. And if you don't like it, so the fuck well. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. Well... You know, I wish they would show the camera. I wish they would the camera on Beyonce Jay Z when you saw them jokes. Uh, they I don't think they were out there. At that time. <laughs> but wouldn't you have loved to see that thing? Yeah, <laughs> to see how they uh, in that career. Because it's still not a good look. Whether yeah. he made this up or not, we will never know now because the file was out. <coughs> but then the prosecutor, met the state attorney, said, "Well, y'all welcome to do whatever y'all want." She said it in the newspaper. So we don't know what's going to happen. They're going to unseal it or not. I just say we move on. Donald Trump said uh, he's called uh, Robert Mueller. Who? He said, "Drive him off, finish the collusion thing. He's gonna call him for justice." Mark. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, that's fine. That's nobody's fine. in trouble. It's like it never happened. Oh my God! They you need to look at everything. <laughs> yes. You know why? You because these are stuff you should say out loud. <laughs> because it's true. We don't know. Don't ever you know, say what I say out loud. I'm going to say no. it. Out loud no. All right, well, I'm going to say this if I say it. <laughs> <laughs> Why that phone was redacted? Yeah. It could have been a bad day. It could have mm -hmm. been jacked. It could have been grinded. It could have been any of those mm -hmm. things. And that's why you're not showing your phone? Or you think they're going to put that out there? No. Uh -huh. We want to find uh -huh. out what really happened. That's right. So give so us So you're your afraid phone. that they're going to put out something that you don't want people yeah. to see. Yeah. And if they got this story and they got text messages between y'all, like, come on, something is up. But well, I don't want to go on about that. So, you know, Beyonce and Jay-Z there at the <coughs> Oscars. At the Image Oscars. Yeah, they go to the Oscars. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And they have Oscar parties. Oh, I want to go to And they had an Oscar party. And they wasn't Yeah, they do I'm, have Oscar parties. I'm party. ready to go to the Beyonce and Jay-Z Image Awards party. I'm ready to go to a Jay-Z and Beyonce party. <laughs> Period. Pajama party, Oscar party. <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine have an NWACP brunch? You know, Rock Nation NWACP Image Awards brunch. They just becoming that couple that their parties Doing are the go-to parties yes. before the Grammys mm -hmm. and after the Oscars. Because right. everybody was at their party after the Oscars. Everybody. Right. The winners and all. Because Virginia King was there. Not everybody got lost in the mouth. But who's mine? Well, yeah, because you had the damn muscle in your lips. <laughs> Y'all know how I mean. Well, like anything. <laughs> Yellow. Ew. <laughs> that's shitty butt. <laughs> you are trying it. Anybody think it's yellow? That well, is a mess. That is a problem. Because that's that anybody walking around with no yellow. That's what that looks like on your lips. Poop. Diarrhea. I need to go get that tissue. You need to get yeah. Wipe yeah. right? your yeah. mouth again. Hold up. <laughs> if anybody got something to say. So what do you have to say about Omari? Listen. The same thing that goes down with Omari, like he had that sweat too. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with him? Who's in that room? Nobody. Oh. What went on with Omari? I think that he overstepped his boundaries a little bit, a little but bit. it's not that deep to he go in his comments. To, yeah. He didn't mean to, but, but it just was. He did. Yeah, because Beyonce, Beyonce was thrown off. Yeah. Beyonce was thrown off by yeah. the second kiss. Yeah, well, I was too. Yeah. Because I know every time I've kissed her, it's always been one kiss. Yeah. Hello, and then at the end, yeah. one kiss goodbye. But that was <laughs> mwah, uh, mwah. Yeah. like. But he hello. probably was excited, and he, he probably was. wanted to say what he wanted to say, and just had to give her another kiss because you know sometimes like I know that when we meet people right. you give them one hug and sometimes they want another hug and, and sometimes, sometimes they want another hug right. so and, and like I said I've kissed well you know I've kissed Beyonce plenty of times yeah. the and Beyonce's not one to tell you no you can't give her she's a yeah. huggy person so it's okay to give her a kiss but I just felt like why was he giving her a kiss so quickly behind each other yeah. and then that second kiss like you said was a little too because you could tell that her face was now moving and yours is now planted. So now your lips is kind of almost meeting her lips. It's kind of like, um, hello? Yeah, what are you doing? He ain't, I don't think he had that, you know. He but would you mind, Omari, doing that to you? No. But I don't think of him in, a, in that way. And yeah. you know what, though? I like I like his character probably more than I like him. Well, Ever since that time. Would you mind time, a ghost did that to him? To, to, did that to you? I'm not going to talk like that. I just want to know. <laughs> I'm just going to say that. I'm just gonna say that Go ahead. two times, once was enough. Right. Twice, all right. You pushed, you pushed it, but it's <clears throat> not that serious to where you have to be going to leave threatening messages in somebody's well, comments. Like kids. 
Listen, I don't give a fuck. Like, they're not even kids. Those are grown ass people. Kids. I, I've seen grown ass people <coughs> eating. They who have like, the mindset of a child, Kevin. Like, it's. When is the last time you've have even seen me remotely go back and forth with somebody about Beyonce? I don't even that know. That doesn't even it happen anymore. So you just. Because block those days are over. <laughs> yeah. Not even block them. It's just like. I can't even imagine myself going back and forth with you anymore. To the point now, today, I'd be like, I can't believe I ever did that. Mm -hmm. But I did. <laughs> but, but you feel silly when you think about it. That's why I'm, I'm like, when I see adults do it, I'm just like, they must be still on that uh, child yeah, line. It was just like a big thing like Omari was trending, and I'm just like, really? And he never even, and, he, and I went to his page too, he never, he didn't make a comment about it or nothing. He no. just kept it right. And plus, we he don't, don't know. He probably... He could have been intoxicated at that show. You never know as long as that shit was. It was too early for them to be intoxicated because they were just getting there. Shit, I'd be. You never know. It's well, you yeah, but <laughs> that bitch is Beyonce. He was excited, right. and I'm sure there has been people that have awkward moments while right. meeting Beyonce for the first time. She's used to the shit, and I guarantee you that, like you. Because you had an awkward moment beating her. Yeah. But, <laughs> I didn't even say hi to her. No, he didn't. She was right there. <laughs> as close as I am to him, that's how close she was to him. I, I didn't say, say to her. And she looked him dead in the face. Yeah. I was star struck. And then she came back and said something to me, and I still didn't say nothing. <laughs> no, she and said. And other people looked no, shocked no, too. When that all happened, she had she, walked past she walked us. Down. And then when she saw me, she came back. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. When Beyonce sees you. Yeah. And Kevin's a witness to that. Yeah. She saw me and she stopped what she was doing and turned around, came right back to me yeah. and gave me a hug. Yeah. And then once she realized Kevin, she, and I think I introduced, I think I said something like no, Kevin. it was no introduction. Okay. Well, well whatever it was. But, but I know I, I, I leaned back so she could I said, acknowledge I she you. And then he just looked and she looked and she said, hi. And Kevin said nothing. And then she just turned around and went yeah. And I said, well, about five minutes. She said, hi. <laughs> that was a fun experience in itself. <laughs> Not just meeting Beyonce, but going to Central Park and stay at night. All night. <laughs> all, night. <laughs> all night. And I'm like, Macau, where are you? Macau, my son, he's like, you got my fire. All right. When Macau <laughs> came back, I went behind the tree. He woke me up. What's my? So I'm like, come on, you need to go. We need to go. <laughs> Beyonce's people want us. They need you. Come on, let's go. And I'm like, bitch, what are you talking about? And I ran them far as we wild to get, get to you. And we got our ringside seats. We seen Robin Robert with her girlfriend at the time. She was back there. I never said I saw her girlfriend. Well, I saw her. Oh, okay. And she was just talking about how great <laughs> Beyonce was. Um, we, that's where we met Yvette. I think that's the that first was time the we ever met. Yeah, we Yvette. met Yvette. Yeah. yeah. First time we met her. Because she was the one who told me to go get you. Yeah. It was just, it was just, and then I seen somebody that I seen at the club. And I said, oh, you worked for B. I didn't know that he worked for her at the time. And I seen them in some DVDs, but he was like, "Are you guys working with somebody?" Who's the uh, on porno? No, oh. like working on the oh 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 those DVDs. Oh, oh god! <laughs> this video we got all these notes and nothing planned. You have to be a little bit more specific. Okay, working on Beyonce <laughs> DVDs. Okay, because I know how you get down. So yeah. I don't know what the, I don't know which movie you talking about. But he's like, "Are you guys working with somebody?" And I was like, "Yes, we are." And at that time, you know, we was working with. So, I thought about her today. Because I said... And we okay. was too, because that was the summer of 2011. Yes, that was... That was that was yes. when she was with Blue, with nobody knew, remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't even know. Because no. you didn't tell me until... Um, your mom got married. Yeah. That was the day your mom got married. Yep, you told me. And remember, the world didn't even know them, because nope. the VMAs hadn't even happened yet, remember? Mm -hmm. I was like, huh? He's like, yep, Kevin, for real, don't you tell nobody. <laughs> and then when we did the VMAs video, and I was like, yeah, because I should... He doesn't know Kevin, because then sometimes, mm -hmm. but I, I wasn't going to be that bad. Yeah. Like that. But, but yeah, so Amari, he just overstepped his boundary, but it's not that serious the way you got to threaten him. Right. Then people talking about, oh, you want to do all this with black women, but you married to a white woman. I'm just like, like yeah, oh, come on. on. Yeah, all he did was just, he just kissed her, yeah. and it was like an awkward moment. Why yeah. would you do all that? I cannot wait until you finish the sandwich. <laughs> Why would you do all of that? You know what I mean? Yeah, so... Um, can I just say this about the Real Housewives? The finale was, was trash. I want to see it. Because everybody's trash. calling Nene a hypocrite. It's trash. <laughs> is she a hypocrite? Nene is a hypocrite. Is a hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm just tired home. of her. Yeah. She treats her friends like trash. Yes, yes. And they and allow it. Right yes. back. They allow it. They break up. They make up. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. if you notice, 
Nene has fought with everybody on mm -hmm. that show. Yeah. Now, if Nene fighting with everybody, who's the common denominator? Mm -hmm. Who I used to say is the common denominator mm -hmm. with everybody else on Instagram and Twitter. Like, you go to people's mm -hmm. pages and you start shit. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I'm supposed to sit on camera and try to defend you. I thought, I thought about all of this stuff today. <laughs> and I said, I would really defend her. Like, I really would do that. Stupid shit. It's and what Nene do, I'm you know, because, you know, yeah. they like the same people. Yeah. And then there's somebody else. I'm just glad. I'm just like, no, because she's just like Tamar. And Nene and is just like, really, like a child. Yes. yes. Like, if it's and not her way, baby. if it's not my way. Girl. And I'm just like, <coughs> I don't have time for this little shit. <laughs> and Nene, you're mad because... You didn't know that Kenny was, was coming, coming to a party? Right. I didn't even know they had a fucking conflict. So what y'all go back and forth? Right. If you don't fuck with Kenya, when that light come on on that camera, don't speak to her. That room was big enough to not have to speak to uh, Kenya. Right. But because, oh, excuse me, I keep going. Because I never went to sleep when I came home from work, so I can't wait to go home so I can go to sleep. Because but I think it's because... It was a it was it was a shit show. Yeah, I think it's too because she's like that too because now all the attention's on Kenya. Yeah. <laughs> it's not on me. But it's not always about you. It's like you right. have had this right. show for ten seasons because right. you skipped one. Right. Like you've had this show for ten seasons. Mm -hmm. It's not what, yeah, about you. you. She had her, she had a little rise. She had the um the acting stuff that was popping off. Now she's in stores and stuff. I don't really see her. First of all, she's not that deep of an actress. She's just Nene. Right. Playing Nene with right. a different name. Right. Nene by any other name. Right. So I just, I'm just like, why are we going through this time of that hurt me, this stabbed me? And, and, and Cynthia, you could have been a woman about and just say, all right, I'm bringing Kenny to the party. The only bad thing that can happen is Nene not show up. And who gives a fuck? Because I can have a party without anybody. <laughs> and that takes me to this weekend. Even though they probably was trying to be funny about it. Who? Somebody that I know. Uh -oh. That introduced me to their... Not introduced me, but they um, invited me to their party. And I didn't go. No. No, it wasn't. Okay. Okay. And I'm just like... All right, I didn't go. But did you have a nice time? Did you enjoy yourself? Mm -hmm. You had a great birthday, and that's all that matters. What I don't do is, I, if I invite you to my birthday, I am not going to be looking for you, <laughs> did you come or not? Because yeah. I've already had me a great time. The people that wanted to celebrate me, <clears throat> they, were, they there. were there. Whether you were there or not, I don't care. And Cynthia, oh, I want to have everybody So did somebody there. say something to you? Like, oh, yeah, they you? said something to me, and we talked about it, and I just, you know, I just let it go. It was just like... Well, if you really know. wanted me to come, you should have let me know that I was the guest of honor. Yeah. But I'm not the guest of honor. You are, because it's your birthday, so. Yeah. But I just, I don't, I don't like being confronted about why I didn't come right. to something. Right. Like, me I neither. don't like it. I, Kevin, I wasn't there. Neither do I. Because I look at it like this. I am an adult. Was it a wedding? I am an adult. Yeah. And if I come, I come. If I don't, I don't. If I didn't come, there was a reason why I didn't come. Yeah. And I don't think there's. you should question me as to why it was. Now, if I tell you why I didn't come, that's something totally different. Yeah. But for you to come out and question me about why I didn't come. Yeah. Because if you're going to question me about why I didn't come, don't expect me to ever come to anything again. <laughs> so they don't even invite me. Because like, I don't want to feel like the worst person in the world. Right. Because I tell everybody, I tell everybody this. When they do that, I tell everybody this. My own mother and father, who are still walking this earth, don't even question me, and I'm not gonna let you question me. They you got to go that deep. You well, because it has to, it has to simmer yeah. in their soul mm -hmm. to let them. Oh well, oh, you know what I mean. Nah, I, they don't even question me, so I know I'm not gonna let you question me. Yeah. If I didn't come, I didn't come. I'm sorry I didn't come. But don't question me. Don't ask me, oh, well, why you ain't coming to my prep? I could have not come because I could have had an emergency that I may not yeah. want to talk about. You know how many people say they come to a Scorpion show party? And never show up. show up. And I don't not call one person and say, oh, you wasn't at my party. Yeah. So many people was coming to our live show and they did not show up. Right. But we still right. had a back down. Yes, we did. <laughs> yes, the fuck we did. And, you know. But that's that. But you don't question. I don't, yeah, I just had a good time. You don't do that. Yeah. You don't do that. You know, I, I, as many cookouts as we had, and there's been a lot of my friends who did not show up, and I never not once called or texted and said, "Why you ain't show up?" Yeah. It's it's don't do that. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that. It's not right. 
Okay. So I just feel like Nene always wants to be the queen, and we're going to see what's going on. That's because they about. they and the producers and all them treat her like that. Yeah. <clears throat> and, and, and Cynthia, child, you don't, you don't owe nobody nothing. Scary. And, yeah, and then they all, like, this ending, it was like a cliffhanger a little bit. Like, it was just, I don't know. Next. Yeah, next is, who is this? Diddy and marriage. <laughs> He's having guilt that he never married Kim Porter. Mm. And I'm just sitting here like, you know what? I know he's sad about it, but I don't feel sorry for him. Because he was with Cassie for all of those years. And didn't, marry and didn't even marry her. <laughs> so if Cassie died a day tomorrow, you going to be putting all these pictures up mm -hmm. of her? Like, damn, I should have married her. Damn, I'm mm -hmm. married. I was scared. I don't think that marriage is for him. He got mm -hmm. kids all over the place, but never once have I ever heard about him being married. And I don't remember any stories about him being engaged to anybody. I don't, I've never remembered anything like that. I, Kevin, your guess is as good as mine. I just always know him to have kids. Yeah, and, and I, girlfriends. Yeah, I don't want him to be like. I don't. I hope he's not doing that just because he, he don't seem like the type that would be married though. No, he, th he, he likes to older do years. Yeah, yeah, he seems like the type that just likes to do him. Yeah, and I, you know, I feel sorry for him, but I think maybe he should go to therapy or some counseling and stuff because people's going in on him in the comments. And it don't even seem like that he's even the type that would like to share the spotlight with a woman. Not saying that he's gay, but it just seems like he's so into Diddy that I can't see him wanting to share the spotlight like on a red carpet or something. You know what I mean? Because, for instance, he's no Jay-Z. No. Like, Jay-Z is somebody who you could tell Jay-Z is like, go ahead. Cause, take cause all the Diddy pictures is the lights, camera, action. That's, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Jay-Z is like, y'all go ahead and take all the pictures you want to be on set. I'm going to step over to the side. But no. I can't see Diddy being that. No. Even if he's with another so, celebrity, I can't see him with cameras on. Because he wants it all on him. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I can't see him with somebody. You know, that's a Scorpio thing. Because when was the last time you ever seen him really share the carpet with Cassie when they were together? Yeah, I'm not saying a, that they never shared. That's it, but, a Scorpio thing. He wanted yeah. to be in a light. Right. He wanted to be seen. Got to be heard. Right. But I don't want him sharing. I don't want him. I shouldn't say I shouldn't want him. But I don't want him to be that vulnerable on so social media. Because. Right. You know, people are going to care. Some people not going to care. I'm one of the people who, like, I feel sorry that you're you're sorry, mm -hmm. but, like, you had plenty of opportunities. You're always linked with women, and you never marry them. And you're with them for so long. Right. Excuse and just like he was with Kat before his, um, before Kim died, he was uh, posting pictures of wanting Cassie back. Like, now that Kim died, it's like, okay. Fuck Cassie. Everything's about Kim. Yeah. He ain't had that energy before. He was scared. And this, this was, I was a punk. I was a... No. I love you, Diddy. We get it together. Empire, the lowest ratings ever was this week. And then before that, it was the lowest rating. <laughs> now, it's no... Like, it's... We don't even know if there will be a season five or six. I don't know which season they in now. But it's it's, it's not... We don't know if this, the show is going to be renewed or not for another season. And even though I have left the Empire train a long time ago, I mean, I don't want to see nobody out of a job, especially if it's for Jesse. Um, I do think that Fox owes this show at least one more season because Empire was on everybody, was on everybody's tongues a couple mm -hmm. of years ago. Mm -hmm. And everybody was talking about <coughs> it. And if you're going to get this show, if you, if you want to let it be the last season, give that show that farewell. It may bring some of the old people back to watch to see what happened. Or you, you just never know. I think, but I do think that they should give them that. And Lee Daniels did a lot for Fox because... He brought them high ratings, and then he brought them another successful show in Star. So at least give Empire a chance to say goodbye. Even though I know they want the ratings and the money and all of that stuff, give them what they deserve. I do think they need a final season and then call it, and call it a wrap on the show. But I, I don't even know what storyline where they at or anything, but they're having their lowest ratings at this time. And it's only like under 4 million people watching. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's under time to give it a rest. Yeah. And I don't even think it's just, I think Jussie is the icing on the cake, but I think mm -hmm. the cake was already baked and ready for the icing yes. before this Jussie incident. Yeah. People would just stop, just stop watching it. Yeah. It's done. But it trends every week, so people are watching. Most train wrecks do. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy Williams and Hugging People. Another train wreck. <laughs> so, yeah, and Wendy said it was a long week. So, she's kind of like she's acknowledging that we know her tea, but she's not telling us because her husband... Allegedly had another baby with another woman. 
So, <laughs> uh, I keep yawning because I told Kevin that early. Yeah, I, when I he came called home me work, to record early. Mind you, he called me at around twelve o'clock to record early. When I came home from work, I laid in the bed and I could not go to sleep. So then I would add this energy of coming to record, but now I'm so sleepy and I can't and wait he to go. Had a burger before we got on camera. Mm -hmm. Is catching the itis. But Wendy, there's this <laughs> viral video of Wendy telling one of our audience members, no hugging, no hugging. When the audience member comes down to hug Yeah, and, she went, and then Wendy acted like she wanted to hit her. And I was like, where is this rage coming from? Um, I know that Wendy hugs her guest that comes on the show. And I know that sometimes she gives people a hug. When they win tickets to one of the restaurants, she'll give them a hug. And they'll say, thank you, Wendy, and all of this stuff. But this girl, she was excited. And... She's coming down, and when you take no hugging, no hugging. Like I just like that. And then the weird. rage, the rage that she, she like, gave the girl yeah. was kind of weird because I'm like, I've never experienced that with somebody that I've met. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Like I can't even imagine ex experience something like that because first and foremost, I can't imagine what would come out of my mouth after that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You giving me all of that. Um, now, I don't watch the Wendy Williams show, but you were telling me that she has this thing where she doesn't like to hug people. But then you said, but she hugs the yeah, guests she hugs her that come on the show. So it's kind of like, you know. Yeah, and, but and I think even one time when she was like, I'm not even shaking hands mm -hmm. right now. But I like, think this young lady, when we watched the clip, this young lady must have won something or whatever it was. And she was clearly excited and she came down and wanted to give Wendy a hug and Wendy was like no hugs no and then like kind of like she was going to hit her with the shirt that she and I'm just like her. wait what like yeah <laughs> like it's sad that I, I just when I see stuff like that I, I mentally say God please don't ever let me get like that mm -hmm. just don't ever get me let me get like that I, I don't care if I if I become this big with this show or if I remain where I'm at with the show. Don't ever let me get to the point where I am, oh, I don't want you to hug me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I don't ever want to get there because you don't do that to people. And and I say that because I would never want nobody to do that to me. Mm -hmm. Wendy Williams could have been, could have been that girl's Beyonce, what Beyonce is to me. You know what I mean? That could have been her Beyonce. Or her Barack, and, you know that could have been somebody that she absolutely loves, mm -hmm. and for somebody that you absolutely love to then quip at you and don't hug me, and it's like, wait, what? Mm -hmm. It makes you reevaluate. Like, wait a minute, <laughs> am I really standing or fanning for the right person? Because mm -hmm. that was bad energy Wendy gave off to that young lady. So I hope I can't even say I hope Wendy apologized to her because it doesn't look yeah, like I don't she even know was how old that clip was because it looked like somebody was recording it. On their phone. From, yeah, on the audience. from the audience. <coughs> but it looks rather recent because she had a bob, and she had that bob like a few weeks ago. Uh, I wish I could go back to the video, but... Yeah, it didn't look old like she... The hairstyle is a hairstyle that she's had worn recently. Mm -hmm. Whatever, it's just bad. Yeah. So, speaking of people hugging and stuff, Joe Biden. I mean, we done talk about hugging three times. Omari, <laughs> Joe Biden. That's the first one. show. Yeah. We've never had so many times <laughs> it involved hugging. <clears throat> so Mr. Joe Biden, um, he's going to run. And the him. fact that we're involving three topics with <laughs> hugging with three different men. <laughs> you are really trying it. <laughs> I need to get my nails done. Oh. So Joe Biden, he's been dealing with these um, news stories now. You know, He's, he's having to do like an apology thing. Um, he, he apologized for the Needle Hill situation just in case they try to okay. bite his back out for that. Good. Um, now there's a woman named Lucy Flores. <laughs> She's going on all these networks talking about how Joe Biden made her feel uncomfortable a couple years ago when he went to a campaign for her. She said he touched her on the shoulders. He smelled her hair. And he kissed her on her on the back of her head. Um, she said that this happened to her. But they've also been pointing out that she's been campaigning for Bernie Sanders. She's been recently trying to campaign with um, Beto O'Rourke. They're trying to say that this lady has an agenda. Mm -hmm. And she said that she does have an agenda when it comes to this. But she said she doesn't. 
But what what is making people upset is that she's trying to tie this into the Me Too movement, mm -hmm. and it's nothing like that. Right. They just saying that she just felt right. uncomfortable, right. but she's also saying she doesn't feel like he should run for president. And let me tell you something. Yeah. So this is your agenda. Yeah, Miss. Let me tell you something. We have a president who admitted on camera to grabbing women by the pussy. <laughs> this man has had sexual allegations against him. <laughs> you know, even though we stand up for what's right, like how low can America go? <laughs> right. How low can we go now? We Com can't go compared no Compared to you saying that he, on the head, yeah. which he maybe shouldn't have done, but yeah. you said he kissed you on the head, kiss, to, kiss, to touch him, somebody he's a little touchy that grabs somebody pin by the pussy. Yeah. They, 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 they say Joe is... Yeah. Touchy well, we all guy. have known that. Yeah, and we've talked about this before right. on our show. And I don't take him being touchy feely as a creepy kind, creepy I mean, kind of touchy. Even though some people want him to right. be a creep, right. but I feel like this lady has an agenda to right. get her face out there. Right? Should she, she's like, and what we go for said today? If somebody ever touched me like that, you know, I'm telling them you're making me uncomfortable. Right. But I know a lot of people feel afraid to say that because someone is in power. Mm -hmm. But why did you wait? Like, you're waiting now because now, it's going to run for president. president. Right. <laughs> and they said this happened in 2014. Yeah. <laughs> and this is 2019. Yeah. They said this happened when Obama and was president. They got the pictures <laughs> of this. And then they got a picture with her sitting behind him with her hand on his shoulder. I'm like, you know what? This is a lot. It didn't bother her. Like, you know what? I don't even have hair. But this is what I'm going to do. Definitely she's getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody deserves to take but to see, this is why people sometimes be like, man, nah, it's Me Too movie. Yeah, it's um, Me Too Kevin, this is why I said a few videos ago when I said, I don't like to be the person to jump to conclusions with. Yes. You know what I mean? And I said that, and this is one of the reasons why, because it's like, come on. Like, granted, Joe Biden, like you said, we've all known him to be touchy-feely, and he's saying what the fuck you want to say. Yeah. And I think that's at, the time. Time. Yeah, at the wrong time. At the wrong time, but that's why we love him. <laughs> that's why we love him. But it's like, come on. Had you brought this up, let's say mm -hmm. even last year. Yeah. You know what I mean? But you waited until it's really it's about to it's happen. Time. Yeah. <laughs> that he's going to run to say, oh, by the way, he kissed me on my head and yeah. he touched me on my shoulders and I felt uncomfortable. Yeah. And now you're on all the tape, call your shows, tell yeah. me about this. She was on uh, Jay Tappy <laughs> yesterday and today she's on NBC <clears throat> News. And I think that the lady on NBC News is getting a little irritated with her. <laughs> but I'm just like... And she, and she wants everybody to know, and know I'm not a Republican. I'm a Democrat. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You are going to different yeah. candidates, and like that's not cool. Yeah. They, and you, now you don't think Joe should run. You know she reminds me of? Who? Jumping from... So <laughs> you know what, don't... <laughs> you're trying to my friend. <laughs> you're trying. Oh, that's about to hit me. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the trash. Burp. What trash? I have a bag, a trash bag. Oh. <laughs> Where? Stop it. <laughs> Just stop it, please. Baby! <laughs> Let me tell you, I got a slug in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking for a bag, but it's not there. So. It's in the hallway. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> he threw it on the floor like it was a bag. But anyway, oh, that's neither here nor there. But yeah, that's what she reminds me of. <laughs> Just jumping from candy to candy. <laughs> Oh, you, uh, oh, you know this person too. Yeah, <laughs> I just feel like, you know, that's what she's on right now. And it's not like we can say, oh, I feel sorry for you yeah. and all of that stuff. But sometimes even us, like, people, you touch somebody right. and you didn't mean to touch them. You didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> you know, and then you come out and then you find yourself having to defend yourself. Yeah, because first of all, anybody you know, can say something about anything from five years because ago. Because you know, you. first of all, you know for a fact that what you did was not intentionally meant to be inappropriate. Yes. So the fact that somebody then says that what you did made them feel uncomfortable and it felt, and then you're like, like wait, wait, what? Yeah. I, you, so now I have to apologize because I know in my heart that's not what I meant. But I have to apologize because clearly that's what you felt. And mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure out how you felt that. But hey, I apologize yeah. if you did feel that. Yeah. It's weird. And, and, and sometimes now, like, you just got to be careful what you say to people. Yeah. How you hug them, how you touch them, where you touch them. Like, it's a lot of stuff going mm -hmm. on because of this movement and the era that we are in today. Yeah. And it's kind of like you just got to walk with your hands behind your mm -hmm. back and just say yeah. hello. You're right. And, and, and it makes you want to be like Mike Pence. When Mike Pence say, I can't do, I don't do nothing life. without yep. my wife. <coughs> Or knowing about it. Or being yeah. there. Yes. Yeah. It makes you want to live like that. 
And, and it's actually, he, it's, it's, it's like... I see where he's coming from. Because when I first heard that, I said, Dad, that's really yeah, we weird. We all thought that was ridiculous. But then when you think about this now movement, it's like, well, I see exactly where he's coming from. And yeah, yeah he said, unless his wife is there, he yeah. ain't going. That's Especially why he's not going to be with him on this yeah. situation. <laughs> he said, if it's with a woman, he's not going to be there. He's not, unless his wife is able to come, he's not going to no more. Now let's hear. And we thought, oh, that's because you, you, you like to give him to temptation. No. No, because the story is like this. The story is like this. And motherfuckers like to lie and make stuff up. <laughs> and see, somebody come out about Mike Benz, his wife would say, no the fuck, he did not go out, because I've been there for the past 30 something years at every fucking meeting. The fuck you think this is? I know he didn't do it. You know what I mean? The fact that you even have to bring your wife oh. along with every meeting because of, but shout out to Mike Benz. <laughs> yeah. And then when you tell them what the problem is, oh, don't get me wrong. Yeah, and, and I asked the everyone here, listen, I think that she has a cute video, and I think she has a cute song, but cute ain't going to top the charts, okay? She needs, <laughs> if she does, she's going to need more fan power, and she's going to need more of a, a, a machine that can help promote her. And Russell got the coins for it, now will he spend the money on it? I don't know, but yeah, I just think that she needs a nice management team behind her and she's going to be fine she's doing an independent route but you still need to get because mm -hmm. the video only has three million videos three million views and it came out the other day <coughs> i'm kind of iffy or shaky about that but the song is cute but we'll pop play it well you hear it on the radio i don't know but yeah i i still say good luck on this independent route and you never know what she might do because maybe major label might start calling again right but I'm still Team Sierra. I just wish that um, she just had a, a more dancier song. Because this is a cute, flirty song. I've been thinking about you. Uh, in the video, she's naked. In the video, a little bit getting dressed, thinking of things to wear for her first date with this guy, who happens to be Russell, Russell. but we never see him. Yeah. So, yeah. But I ain't like the, I ain't like seeing the maid and stuff dancing with the champagne. I don't know about that stuff, but you know, it's, it's I mean, like, that's your life. Yeah, that's your life. <laughs> I don't know anything about the maid. Yeah. <laughs> she had like a. If nice I had ever had a maid outfit on, yes. <laughs> Drinking champagne, picking out book clothes away. That part was cute, but I'm just like, it's not realistic. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna go, and we was. Was she talking like this in the video? Hi, Sienna. Sienna, come on. Oh my here. God. <laughs> Oh, she did say she didn't handle the speaking part, but she talked to Issa Rae in a video on the phone uh, about the dates and stuff. She like talks that. like a uh, don't do that. And Issa Rae was um, on they was on um where the View Today. That young girl Marseille Martin, she's going to be real big. Marseille she's Martin only, is the one from uh, Blackish, right? Yes, yeah. she's only fourteen years old. She's, and she's an executive producer. And she talked about how she came up with the concept of the movie and everything. She is going. What movie? Oh, oh, the movie. movie. Yeah, yeah they, that's what they were on there promoting. Mm -hmm. And everyone's saying that Issa Rae is engaged, but she's not talking about it. And they try to talk about it on show. She ain't bringing it up. So, but I don't know nothing about her being engaged. But that's what they're saying. She's engaged. Yeah. So, well, you guys have a great day. <coughs> Take a little time to enjoy the day. Yeah. And I'm going to go home and go to sleep. Yeah. Because I'm to get all this sleep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I am tired. <laughs> like exhausted. Ah. I'm going to see if I pull up. Mm -hmm.